What is up guys, The Premium right here, and today we have episode 7 of my Black Ops series in which I intend to get a gameplay with every primary weapon on the game with your help. So for today's episode we have the MPL submachine gun, and uh, this gun, to be honest guys, it's, it's pretty good. I'd, I'd happily use this weapon over the majority of the submachine guns, bar like the 74U or the MP5K. So I'd probably rank this weapon like third in the submachine gun category. So my class in uh, today's episode was the MPL obviously using the dual mag attachment. My perks were Ghost Pro, Slight of Van Pro and Marathon Pro, and my kill streaks were the Spy Plane, Blackbird and the Chopper Gunner. As I said, the MPL is a really good weapon. Um, I think it's mainly down to the fact that it has a, uh, like a low amount of recoil, and the magazine size is very strong for a submachine gun. Um, with 32 rounds in a mag, it's on par with most of the assault rifles. Now, uh, this is key when choosing my attachments, um, because I didn't feel like I needed to pair this weapon with the extended mags. Instead, I opted for the dual mag attachment, because it grants you more ammo to start off with and uh, gives you a faster first reload. This also helps um, when deciding on what perks you want to use. Um, because the dual mag attachment obviously grants you more ammunition from the start, there isn't really much choice um, uh, in using scavenger. Um, so you might want to use something like hardline or in fact ghost like I was using. Again, the second perk choice is entirely up to you. I went with the trusty sleight of hand, which has actually made a return in every COD game since COD 4, but it probably wasn't the best choice. Because uh, I was using the dual mag, uh, the first reload is a lot faster, so you might want to use steady aim um, to help with shots that are fired from the hip, or maybe warlord and whack on a silencer with dual mags to keep off the radar. The last perk I went for marathon pro, and that's pretty much standard for me. I think I have it on every class, and I love to rush around, even if I'm using like a sniper or like an LMG or something. I'm not really one of those people that camps. Although this gameplay was quite slow, actually. I've had to cut down a load of it, because um, otherwise it's just like long periods of me rushing about the map for no reason, not really finding everyone, anyone. Um, it does, however, start to heat up towards the end of the match. I think we were losing by like 10 kills, um, I think at one point, and we do actually end up losing this, guys, by the way. But um, I think it was only by about 2 kills, so it's not too bad. We did alright to bring it back. But uh, I really don't understand why people get rid of gameplays or don't enjoy watching gameplays where the player loses. Personally, I'm not too fast. As long as the score at the end is good and the gameplay is entertaining to watch, I really don't mind at all. So anyway, guys, this is, uh, as always, going to be the end of the episode. If you guys uh, post gameplay commentaries yourself and you want a bit of promotion, to be honest, guys, the simplest way of putting it is it's pretty much a free shout-out. It doesn't matter whether you play on Xbox, PS3 or even PC. Hop on Black Ops and get some awesome gameplay commentaries and submit them to me um, with your own commentary over the top. Either personal message me on YouTube or leave me a comment down below with the details of the game, uh, like what gun you used, what the score was, um, what map, and uh, how long the actual gameplay was, stuff like that. Or add me on Skype. My Skype name is The Premium Rat. Uh, you can actually submit gameplays to me over Skype, which is pretty cool because it's got like a file sharing feature. And also, um, and this is the most important thing of today's episode, please follow me on Twitter. The link to that will be in the description. It's just a great way to keep in contact with me. I'm pretty much on there all the time, seeing as I have it on my phone. So if you have any questions about anything at all, be it about YouTube or my setup or football or anything just personal about the government or anything, I really don't care answering anything. Um, I'm just a normal person, so don't be afraid to ask me anything. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, then a thumbs up is always appreciated, and uh, I'll see you guys later on. Bye.